arriving at the Guildhall in the City of London. Some of the electric cars and ultra-low emission vehicles that will be part of a major new trial across the UK. Now the British government has agreed a £25 million funding plan for the world's largest real-life trials of these cars around Britain. There's been a lot of talk about the need to change personal transport to lower carbon vehicles over time. Uh, we have binding uh, legal requirements by 2050. It takes time to get there. So the technologies have been developed in, some, in the laboratories and, and workshops. This is a demonstrator program to put them all together. You find out when you make a car whether it works, how people use it, where you charge it, those sorts of things. So it's, it's to prove the technology and also to find out what we haven't done yet because we can feed that back into the next stage of our programs. The new ultra-low carbon vehicles have been designed and built by some of the world's biggest car manufacturers. The aim of the trial is to put almost 350 cars in different locations and work out what needs to be put in place to make using them on a mass scale a reality. It's a really an evaluation of what technology is available at the time. So we have to go into different places. So we've got cars in, in Scotland, in the North East, in the Midlands, and around London and the South East. All of them different environments, all of them different requirements, different drivers, different geographies, everything's different. The initiative was launched in London by the UK Ministers for Science and Innovation and Transport. They see both the transport and data from the trial as crucial in cementing Britain's future role in ultra-low carbon vehicle development. We're now in the process of making electric vehicles a reality and for them to be a reality people have got to have demonstration projects to be able to drive and we've got to learn from those demonstration projects when it comes to designing mass market vehicles. We now have demonstration projects available, 340 of them will be located in eight locations over the coming months. The public will get the opportunity to drive them and I hope it's only a matter of a short number of months before we see big developments in the commercialisation of ultra low carbon and electric vehicles and I hope only a few years before there are a mass market models available. It's vital because this is the world's largest ever trial, consumers actually using electric vehicles. We need to get the data to see how people's driving habits change and then feed that information back into the next generation of technology to make the UK the best place to do this type of R&D, the manufacture of next generation vehicles in the future. One of Britain's leading motoring correspondents also gave the scheme his backing. We've got uh, car companies, we've got energy suppliers, we've got universities all coming together to put these projects across the country so the consumer finally will have access to electric cars. And don't worry about whether the climate change argument works or not for you. Just think that oil has gone up 60% since December not through demand, but by just oil traders and speculators. We can't have that. It's unsustainable. We've got to find energy security. And this is the beginning of the beginning. With growing pressure to move to more environmentally friendly transport, 340 electric cars will be trialled over the next 18 months. The information from this will put the UK in pole position in research and development and manufacturing of the next generation of electric and ultra-low carbon vehicles. Mm-hmm. <laughs>